What is up guys, James here from the Light of Raga YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing a reading for all my Scorpio sun sign friends. If you're born between the dates of October 23rd and November 21st, then you are a Scorpio sun sign and this video is for you. In today's reading we're going to be doing a look at the month ahead for the month of October. Uh, this spread is designed to let you know what past, present, and future energies there are surrounding you, what to hold on to and let go of in the month of October, uh, what lessons you're going to learn, what obstacles you're going to face in the next month. Basically, it's designed to give you the leg up on the next upcoming month so you can make it the best month possible. Uh, today I'm going to be using the Llewellyn Tarot. This is a druid themed deck which I have trimmed down to make it sort of like a pocket travel size and I love it so much. It's a watercolor deck. It's gorgeous. You will see if you've never seen it before and uh, I would appreciate it if you give me a moment now to center myself and ask the tarot cards a question what are the energies surrounding Scorpio Sun signs in the month of October All right, that ought to do it. We'll cut the deck. We've got eight cards coming. All right, and while we're at it, let's take a little dabble into the Nature's Whispers Oracle. And we're going to ask this Oracle deck what message it has for Scorpio sun signs in the month of October. What message for Scorpio sun signs in the month of October? All right, and we will take a look at that card in the end. All right, let's take a gander here. I see one major arcana. I see a bunch of court cards. Oh, that's interesting and odd at the same time. Uh, we'll see what that means as we get into it. All right, let's look at the cards. First card we're going to look at is this one. It represents the energies of last month, the month of September. We've got the Three of Cups. And I get the feeling that September was a time to make connections with other people. Uh... You know, this is a general reading and not everything's going to apply to everyone. So take what works for you and leave the rest. But I get the feeling that a lot of Scorpios were making connections with friends, possibly family, co-workers, uh, strengthening those connections. Uh, I know for me personally, I'm a Scorpio, so I don't, I don't want to interject too much of my own personal stuff into this reading. But uh, I've definitely been um, spending more time with people, other people, uh, in the last month. So uh, I think that's what that means for me. Uh, for you, it could mean, you know, you're coming out of a hermit phase and you're, you're finally, you know, reaching out to other people in the world. Or it could mean that uh, you're just spending a little bit more time and energy and even thoughts uh, put into a to your relationships, your close personal relationships. So I am getting the, the feeling of friendship here, a lot of friendship. So uh, that's uh, what it might mean for a lot of you is just maybe you made new friends or you know you spent more time with friends than you, than you usually do in the month of September. So that's a good thing. You know, friends uplift us for the most part, as long as these friends are not bringing you down, as long as these friends are um, on the same wavelength or even higher than you, then it's great. All right, so let's move to the present energies. This, this card represents the current energies surrounding you at this time. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, I think now's the time that a lot of us Scorpio friends are um, looking towards possibly money, finances, or just st strengthening our position in the world. Um, you know, we spent September full of in the heart, you know, emotions and expressing our emotions. I think we're turning now towards more uh, our creative side, our money-making side, so to speak. 
And uh, we're looking forward, we're looking to the future and, and trying to expand the ways in which we are creative, expand the ways in which we create uh, abundance. And for some of us, that means actually going and doing the work that's needed. For others, it means just thinking about it and, and formulating a plan. Uh, I see this guy looking to the future here and uh, he's definitely got his eye on the pentacles. He's got his eye on the cash, right? He's keeping his eye on the prize, um, but he's a little bit timid. He's not 100% sure which way to you know, progress. He's going to go slow. He's going to go methodical. And uh, that's the feeling I'm getting from this card is a slow, methodical uh, approach to, to money and, and trying to bring more money into your life, um, not just not you know going out there taking it and grabbing it but uh you know formulating a plan and sticking to it a long-term plan is the feeling i'm getting from this so um that's interesting that's the energies of now let's move now to the future energies this is represents the energies of next month so the month of october and we've got the king of swords another court card give me a moment to go into this one all right i get the feeling that october is going to be a time for us to master our logic mind, ma master our egos, master our thoughts and our words. And what I mean by that is um, clean them up a little bit. Uh, a lot of us are mired in negativity and this negativity is kind of self-created. It's uh, belief systems that we tell ourselves, you know, the I am not good enough to do this sort of thing that we say about ourselves. So I think October is going to be a time for us to clean that up a little bit. Um, it's going to be a time to be more aware of the thoughts that we're thinking and the words that we're saying and make sure that they're clean That make sure that they're, you know, full of light and love rather than darkness and negativity. So uh, October should be a month for us to use our logic minds and not not only will that help uh, clear up our vibration and raise our vibrations, but it's also going to help us uh, with this Knight of Pentacles. It's going to help us move forward um, in in creating wealth and uh, increasing our wealth because, you know, the logic mind, it can figure things out. It knows, uh, you know, what's going to work to, to bring cash to us, right? So it's going to help us solve problems, basically. And uh, it's going to be, I get the feeling that, you know, we're moving towards the head space, the ego space in the month of October, which uh, could be good for us. You know, we're a water sign. We're always pretty emotional people, Scorpio. So uh, moving into the head space and using the logic mind a little bit more probably couldn't hurt a lot of us. So uh, I, I see this as a positive thing. The king is the, the master of what he does. So mastering the ego mind is the, the theme for October that I'm getting so far. So Let's move on to the next card. This card here represents what to hold on to in the month of October. And we've got Judgment. I love the artwork on this card. Let me uh, go into it a little bit here. Okay. Um, I, I do feel like the energies are right at this time for us to go through a sort of rebirth. A reimagining of ourselves. Uh, you know, autumn is here and it's uh, the energies feel different, right? Than they did just a, even a month ago. And I think the that we're we're primed and we're ready to start a kind of a new phase of life and and take on a, this new energy that's going to propel us forward. So I think that uh, you should hold on to the the desire of change, the willingness to change, uh, the willingness to accept change as a positive thing and a beneficial thing. Uh, but also to to realize that uh, we're always going undergoing a transformation, but this seems to be a particularly large one where uh, maybe spirituality is definitely uh, a part of it and it's all mixed up in it. So um, basically what I'm getting at is there needs to be a reimagining and a reimagining of the self is on the way. And uh, what you should hold on to is the acceptance of it. A lot of us will just, you know, when change is coming, we kind of, oh, we, we, we recoil in horror, right? Because change means, oh, it, it's scary. And we, we allow fear to enter into that process. And that's a bad thing because, because as we all know, all change is positive. All change is here to bring new and, and better things. Um, so hold on to that in the month of October. Don't fear change. Embrace it and take on this new persona that the your your guides, your the energies are asking you to take on. Okay, uh, this card here represents your biggest hurdle, your likely biggest hurdle in the month of October. We've got the King of Wands, another court card. Uh, okay, so I think the biggest hurdle is going to be understanding what action to take. 
Uh, we, I know from the, the Knight of Pentacles here and the King of Swords that uh, we have this desire to take action. We want to, to progress further. Um, but we've got this King of Wands here and this, this obstacle is just not understanding what, how to do it. <laughs> right? What do we do? Um, the King of Wands knows exactly what to do. And I, I'm getting the sense here from this card that um, our obstacle is going to be knowing exactly what to do. Uh, that's why the ego logic mind is going to play a part in October, is going to help us to problem solve that and figure that out. But uh, we also have to go into the heart space and we have to figure out what our emotions are telling us to do. And uh, through that, through our emotions, through our mind, through our intuition, then we can make a, a rational decision about how to progress forward. So if you're unsure of how to uh, put in action this month, in the month of October, towards your dreams and your goals, then you're going to have to consult all of those things. Uh, meditate, talk to your intuition, um, really think about things with the ego mind, with, that, with as little negativity as possible. Uh, feel what your heart wants and follow the, the passion that, that really uplifts you. And uh, using all of those um, elements, you can then start to really understand which way to move forward. So that is, that is going to be a little bit of an issue, but hopefully you can do those things to, to minimize that a little bit, okay? All right, this card here represents what to let go of in the month of October. We've got the Five of Pentacles, and the message here couldn't be any clearer. We need to let go of that sense of poverty, that sense of loneliness, that sense of just being hurt. Um, you know, the Five of Pentacles is all about being cast out in the cold, maybe rejected by society, maybe we don't make enough money, or we don't think we make enough money, and I think that's something that we can let go of this month. Uh, it's not serving us in any way. These negative emotions are just bringing us down, they're just making us mired in the muck, and it's no good. That We don't need that. Uh, it's not serving us, uh, so let go of that. Realize that you're not alone. You've got all the support you could ever need. Uh, realize that you're not poor. You've got money. You got food. You got shelter. You got an internet connection. You got it all. There's poor kids in India who have a robe, and that's it. And a street corner. So um, just be grateful. That's how you're gonna get out of it. Release that by being grateful for everything you have. Shift your focus from I don't have enough to I have so much. And I think you're going to see your world transform as a result of that. Okay, so let's uh, let's do away with that negativity. We don't need it. We don't want it. it. Doesn't serve us. This card here represents the energy of the people around us in the month of October. And I just want to say that you know individuals have their own energies. People are unique, and um, this card is kind of representing the people as a whole in your life. And we're getting the Knight of of Wands here. So you know when I said that uh, we wouldn't be sure what to do. I think the people in our lives, Scorpio friends, in the month of October are going to be the ones to give us that push. They're going to help us to understand what it is we need to do. Uh, so look to, to those people in your life who offer good advice. Look to those people in your life who are very active and very uh, energetic. And I think those are the people who are going to help you to understand your place this month and help you to understand where you need to put your energy so that you can be moving forward on the right path. And so the people in your life are very, going to be very beneficial to you. Your friends, your family, your coworkers, those people in your life who um, inspire you are going to really do so in the month of October. They're going to help you figure things out. So definitely spend time with those people uh, as much time as you can because um, that's where your energy is going to come from as far as understanding what to do and helping you to overcome your obstacles this month. All right, and the last card we have here represents the biggest lesson we're likely to learn in the month of October and we have another court card the Queen of Cups give me a moment with this one all right the biggest lesson here is that we need to follow our passions um, that's the biggest thing yes the the ego the king the the logic mind is important Yes, the, the wands are important. Yes, the you know energy and intuition and, and fire and putting in effort. Yes, that's very important. Um, yes, the pentacle energy 
where you know you use your resources to your advantage that is important but the biggest lesson that we're likely to learn in october is that we need to enter the heart space a little bit more we need to follow our emotions because our emotions are taking us on the right path they're showing us what that what it is that we truly want what our soul wants uh, if you follow your emotions use them as sort of a beacon or a guide or a compass if you follow the good emotions and you turn away from the bad emotions uh, that'll direct you on the path because your emotions are probably one of the truest indicators of what your soul wants um, so make sure that when you are making decisions in the month of october that you're making it Partly, like I said, we need well-roundedness, but partly from the heart space. Consult your emotions. How are you feeling about doing that? Do you feel bad about doing that? That's probably an indication that you shouldn't be doing it. D does the thought of doing that excite you? Does it make your heart race? Does it give you adrenaline? That's what you need to pursue. So um, allow emotions to enter into it. and Your emotions will put you on the path that you need to be on. Uh, that's the lesson that we're likely to learn. So looking at these cards as a whole, uh, I do see some, some, you know, some emotion here uh, in the month of September. Uh, but be sure to hold on to that. Don't let go of that as you move forward into October because, yes, it's important to go into the pentacle energy. Yes, it's important to go into the sword energy. But we need to also maintain our cup energy, our love, our emotions, our feelings. So um, I do see the October being a time for us to kind of figure things out a little bit. Uh, there's going to be a time of... It's going to be time of rebirth. It's, we're going to have to reinvent ourselves. I get the feeling. Not have to. It's a pleasure to, right? But there's going to be a, a significant change, I feel like, in, the, in a lot of us. And it may not come in October, but the start of it is definitely happening. And uh, I'm, I'm feeling that um, you allowing it is what's going to spark it. Saying, yes, I'm, I'm ready to uh, reinvent myself is what's going to tell the universe that, okay, let's proceed. And so um, hold on to that. Um, yes, if, you, if you're not sure you know, what to do, if you're floundering, you're not sure where to place your energy, uh, like I said, spend time with people, the people in your life, and uh, they will guide you and follow your emotions, right? If your friend tells you, you know, you know let's go smoke some crack in the back alley, and, you, and your heart says, well, I don't like that, that's not a good idea, then yes, don't follow that friend. <laughs> Should I have to tell you that? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if your friend is like, you know, we should go rock climbing and the idea of it just makes you excited, maybe you should try rock climbing. Just a thought. Just an, just an example, but you know what I mean? Uh, and re release all that negative energy about lack. What do you lack? You don't lack anything. You have it all. You have everything you need. There is there is no lack. Any lack that you perceive is a figment of your ego mind's imagination. And it doesn't exist. You have all that you need. Be grateful. Be, have gratitude for everything that you already have and more will be attracted to you uh, and just follow your heart follow your emotions this month your emotions are going to play a big part uh, you gotta let it you gotta let it um, you gotta allow it so um, don't let the ego mind take too much control over over your month okay allow the heart to have its say all right uh, let's uh, take a look at the what was it called? The Nature's Whispers Oracle. And see what message you had for Scorpio Sun Signs in the month of October. We've got... Well, that's exactly what I've just been saying. Love matters. Uh, love matters. I think the the byline says it all. Love matters. Um, follow your, your emotions. I, I, this is just hammering the point home. I love these Oracle decks who, you know, you read them at the end of the reading and it just reinforces the point is uh, follow your heart, follow your, your emotional guidance and love matters because what that means to me in the context of this reading is that that which you love, that is your, your soul's way of explaining to you which direction you need to go in go towards love move away from hate move away from fear or anger or resentment all the negative things and move towards love um, you know think about your life as a whole and in the context of your life what are the things that you love maybe you can make a list of all the things and people and places that you love and maybe in the month of October, you can make a concerted effort to spend more time, energy, thoughts in those things. And wow, you're going to see things change. 
and you're going to come through this this rebirth, this metamorphosis, and it's going to be magical. It's going to be magical. So it looks like a great month. Um, it's just about your intention, guys. Where are you putting your intention? That is where you will go. Put your intentions towards change and, and love and emotions, and uh, you won't be led astray okay so that is the reading for october i hope you guys got something out of that remember this is a general overall reading not everything's going to apply to everybody but if you want a specific re reading tailor just for you then head on over to my etsy channel you can uh click the link in the description and also put a link in the card that you could click so you just head on over there and check out the different readings that i offer i'm willing to help you with anything at all any problems issues concerns that you may have about your life we can get to the bottom of it so i'd appreciate it if you go check that out uh, if you like this video please consider giving it a like click that little button it takes half a second uh, it lets me know that you enjoyed this reading you got something out of it and you want to see more so i'd appreciate that uh, if you have any questions comments or concerns put those in the comment section below i'd love to hear what you guys have to say about these videos i really do see how they affect you it's very interesting to me and uh, if you really enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. I release these videos all the time. You don't want to miss out. You want to see those in your subscription box. So I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and stay up to date on all these videos. All right, guys. Scorpio friends, it's going to be a great month. Uh, just set your intention and that's where you will go. All right. So leave a like if you enjoyed this. Have a great October. Happy tarotting. Peace.